But first, there is a desperate search for baby Andrew Caballero happening right now in Collier County. It has been a week since an Amber Alert was first issued for the newborn. His father, Ernesto Caballero, was found dead in Pasco County after shooting and killing the baby's mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother in Miami. Now, evidence has led investigators to search in Collier for the missing baby, although it has not been made clear what that evidence or motivation is. And 10 News reporter Madison Allworth is along State Road 29 tonight where investigators and volunteers were combing the Everglades all day long today. Madison, what were the different tactics that were used today in the search for baby Volunteers Andrew? have been joining as well with the law enforcement agencies to look for the ba for baby Andrew. They've used different tactics like walking and of course searching along the waterways, but they've also also had dive teams out here looking for baby Andrew. We were able to talk to some volunteers this morning. One told us that they were given specific directions as to what to look for, not only baby Andrew, but also any clues, including diapers. Now, Miami-Dade police are working with Collier County Sheriff's Office, the FBI, and Florida Department of Law Enforcement to find baby Andrew. The FBI joined the search today, which is typical for missing person cases when there is believed to be interstate travel or kidnapping. Texas EquiSearch, a nonprofit that focuses on finding missing people, is also helping. They told us that time is of the essence as each day of the search passes. Time's not on our side. We've got a tiny, tiny baby and we, can, we know the uh, animal alligator activity and stuff could uh, certainly hinder what we're doing. There was a nuisance alligator trapper out here earlier this morning. They brought a boat and some trapping gear into the water, but we, not, we did not see them pull any gators out of the water here today. The crews that were out searching here in Collier have gone home for the day, but there are plans to continue the search both here in Collier and Miami-Dade. And of course, we will keep you updated with the latest. And Madison, arrangements are still being made for the funerals of baby Andrew's mother, grandmother and great grandmother. Their family had been reaching out to Senator Marco Rubio on allowing other members of the family from Cuba to come to Miami to pay their respects. Today, Rubio's office offered this statement. Our office has been communicating with the family to see how we can best assist during these difficult times.